It's time for Waka Kickball. Oh yeah, I went there. Orion Walker alongside Jacob Sidney bringing you the championship game of the 2009 Waka Founders Cup World Kickball Championship. 72 teams from around the country converged in Las Vegas on Columbus Day weekend. And after an intense night of drinking and a grueling day of pool play and elimination games, we have two teams remaining. The others from Washington, D.C., and San Francisco's own Best Coast Ballers. Now, this is the first time in Waka history that the full Founders' Cup final has been captured for your entertainment pleasure. Enjoy it. Treasure it. I know I will. Let's get right to the action as we pretend to take you live from the basin at Desert Breeze Park. Top of the first, Tom Lanahan pitching for the Best Coast Ballers, preparing to face the leadoff kicker for the others, team captain Bill Castillejo. Castillejo is a familiar face in Founders' Cup finals being the longtime captain of the legendary Kick Asphalt franchise, winners of no fewer than six national Waka titles. That streak was only broken in 2007 at Founders Cup 10 in Boston when a Florida team won the cup. Ah, drinkers with a kickball problem. Followed, of course, by the reigning champions, Frosty Balls of Virginia. Uh, Lanahan opens up at 1-1 one and one to Castillejo, and that one's going balls well, 2-1 and one count. In both cases, 07 and 08, Kick Asphalt makes it as far as the semis. And now, in an effort to reclaim the cup, many of those core players have joined forces with some of their longtime regional rivals, including some players from teams like Gonzo and Menace to Sobriety. So, as if facing Kick Asphalt wasn't enough, this is a virtual all star team of some of the most experienced players around. Three and two now to Castillejo, who has uh, over 20 seasons of Waka experience on his resume, a recruiter from Fairfax, Virginia. And he fouls that one off deliberately, looking like uh, he's content to take a walk if he can. That's right, and that's a risky foul there because it wasn't very hard and it was a short pop-up. If the catcher's in the correct position, he might get the out. And he's trying to bunt it for real now, but that one's a foul. 3-2-2. Two, and two. Last thing he wants to do is foul out here leading off the game. Very important to get your speedy leadoff guy on base, and that's something they do obviously very well. Looks like that one's going to get called foul as well. Looks like it was right on the line, but uh, head ref Cameron Kushwara has a good angle, makes the call, and we have a, a bona fide full count here, 3-2-3. Three, and three. That's right, getting his money's worth. Got to have a lot of confidence in your ability to get that bunt down when you need it if you're going to go full count. Payoff pitch. He's got the bunt down, goes back to pitcher, he's got no play. Castillejo safe at first with a leadoff base hit. So we'll take a look at Paul Poltz now. 19 seasons under his belt, an accountant from Reston, Virginia. I believe he is part also of that uh, Kick Asphalt franchise. Oh, Paltz bunts left, Hanley crashes in to field it. The throw is just not in time. Wood gets it back to pitcher. Castileo holds it second. <laughs> Excellent safe call from the first base coach there. Very helpful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lanahan, the uh, pitcher, this is his, uh, his second Founders Cup as he starts pitching to Courtney Yan. Uh, Lanahan is actually uh, has his origins in Virginia, pitching several seasons for uh, teams out there before bringing the East Coast pitching style to his San Francisco outfit. Courtney Ann, one of the rare newer players on the others, three seasons. Hometown is Portland, Oregon, and she works as a resource development specialist. The two and one pitch. Taken for a strike, two and two. She's also quite uh, quite happy to work the count like a veteran. Oh, going foul on the chop to right. One thing I'm wondering early on is if we're going to see players maybe start to wait for that second bounce. I'm seeing a couple fouls come off when the second bounce has been on the plate, it appears to me. Ooh, traps that one, manages to stay on her feet. Uh, yeah, all of these pitchers, you know, had their experience uh, last year pitching under the, the one-bounce rule. Now they all have uh, the two bounces to contend with, uh, a new rule for Waka as of January of 09, requiring the ball to bounce twice before crossing the plate. 
three, two, and two. Another uh, nearly full count. Yan chops a bunter right along the first base line. Wood crashes from first. Looks like he got her. Took a very quick swipe there. Take a look at the replay. Well, they do call her out as she goes by. Doesn't look like they're arguing over it. Great sacrifice from Yan. And that was going to advance the runners, whatever happened. Uh, she nearly uh, pulled a hit out of it. But a nice play from uh, Wood from the ground to tag Yan as she's uh, going by. Absolutely. You know, control of the ball, so important as any competitive kickball team knows. Yeah, you can, you can tag a player out, ball bounces away, and runners are scoring on you. So with that, he got the tag and retained control. Uh, some very nice work from uh, Wood, the first baseman. Looking at Dan Uhouse now, 22 seasons for him. Hails from Cedar Knolls, New Jersey. And works as a consultant. And it's just where you want your uh, cleanup kicker. One out, two runners in scoring position. Pretty much the ideal situation. See if they can convert. I'm still seeing predominantly screw balls from Lanahan. Uh, hard to kick those to left field, but I think UAS would be uh, happy to send a flight of right right here. Certainly. U.S. lets one fly to center field. Chelsea Hunt makes the catch, and that's going to score Castillejo easily. Hunt gets the ball back to Lanahan. He's going to hang on to it to end the play. That pitch uh, straightened out on the second bounce, and Juhas pounced on it. Great, great footwork. A really nice work from center field there to get the ball back to pitcher. You see that they did hold the runner at second. Ever Rivera is something of a legendary player in Founders Cup history. 13 seasons for him, originally from El Salvador and works as an IT manager. And that's a uh, pop fly to right. Mike Salmon with a nice uh, over the shoulder grab running out from the second base, making a tough play look easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the end of the first. The others strike first, one run on two hits and uh, two sacks. A textbook inning from the others to get on the board.